Hello everyone, Pedro back from MyColorScreen.com giving you another Android home screen tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at a home screen by JB Themes. It is named Paperweb. And not only does this well home screen look like it's real paper on your Android device, to me it actually kind of strikes the businessy type, casual type of home screen out there. It has all the core functions that you need on a phone that you like to look at at a glance. It has your RSS, your weather, your social media uh, apps that you need. And it has this very cool, well, you know, texture-ish, paper-ish, but yet still a very unique looking wallpaper to it that fits perfectly on this home screen. It is a two-screen home screen, and I gotta tell you, man, this is very, well, clean. This is a very, very clean home screen, which I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy on your Android device. So, enough of me talking. Let's get this Android home screen onto your Android device right now. Alright, here is Paperweb on my Nexus 4. It is a very beautiful, uh, sleek looking, in my opinion, uh, home screen by JB Themes. It is a two page home screen. It uses Apex Launcher, but I find this, you know, very, uh, I don't know, what's the word for it? Very unique. You know, it's very unique and complex to its own uh, potential. It's not too complex though, you know, you can actually set this up with ease, but, you know, I find that you can actually find. Now all the core functionalities of the phone itself is right on your home screen. You need to go digging through apps. Um, you also have you know your weather and your RSS, which is easily accessible, along with my social networks down below. And these little pictures over here, I find these very cool. I, these are actually hotspots to uh, what the picture demonstrates over here is camera. I could select that and it opens up a uh, camera just like that. And here I am. And that's really it guys, let's go right into this Android home screen tutorial so we can get this beautiful home screen onto your Android device. Alright, first thing first, we're going to go right into our Apex Launcher settings. We're going to go right into home screen settings. And we're going to make sure that our portrait grid is 9 rows with 6 columns, a 9 by 6. The landscape grid can be whatever you want, this is not a landscape home screen. We're going to make sure that our horizontal margin is set to small and the same thing with our vertical margin is also set to small. We're going to go to manage screens and we're going to make sure that it is two screens. Go right back here. We're going to scroll down and we're going to make sure that we show our wallpaper and that for wallpaper mode that it's set to multiple screen scrolling. That is very important. Scroll down here. We're going to make sure that we hide our shadows. Make sure that it's checked. Hop right out of here. I'm gonna go right down to advanced settings. I'm gonna make sure that resize any widget is checked. Once you have that all set, we are ready to set our wallpaper for this home screen. Now that we have our Apex Launcher settings all set up, we're going to make sure that we can actually change our wallpaper. Now make sure that there is actually multiple scrolling. As you can tell, I can actually scroll the wallpaper. Now once you guys download all the files you need and put them into your phone down below, we're going to hold down our home screen and we're going to simply tap wallpapers. I'm going to go right into our gallery and right where you put it down, I put it under paper web, the folder right there. There are going to be two files, now for you Nexus 4 users, we're going to select the top file, but for you uh, lower resolution screens, he actually provided a wallpaper for you guys, which is going to be this one right here. But for me, I'm going to select the top one and it should be just like this and I'm going to hit save and there you go, I should be having two wallpapers just like this. Next up, we're going to be setting up our ultimate custom clock widget. Okay, next we're going to go right into our ultimate custom clock widgets. Now he provided two widgets for this home screen. Make sure that you're actually on this side of the wallpaper, not this one, because we're going to simply start with the main screen first. We're going to hold down our screen and we're going to select widgets. I'm going to scroll all the way down until we see UCCW. After that, we're going to make sure that we select a 4x1. And after that, if you guys download all the files that you need correctly onto your phone, we're going to navigate to the folder where you put the UZIPs in. So on the top right, we're going to select UZIP. I'm going to navigate to the folder where I put everything in, which I put it under Paperweb, right here. And there should be two UZIPs that say pwclock.uzip and pwshortcuts.uzip. First, we're going to be using the pwclock.uzip. I already have it, so I'm going to overwrite it. I'm going to simply touch it right here, and there it is. Now we're going to navigate this. 
well, we're going to place this on the top of our home screen and we're going to make sure that we resize it so it fits right in the middle just like that now for me I had a little problem as it's like it's touching the red bar now if you guys have that problem make sure that you CCW that the hotspots are turned off so we can actually edit this widget and then we're going to select tap background then we're going to go into time and we're going to make sure that we select position put it up about three four times and we're going to go right down to date and we're also going to select position and put it up about three four times and that is done we're going to save it save skin you can leave it just like that and hit ok override it and there it is it should be all centered up correctly now for the second wall since we already set the time up for the first one we're going to make sure that we set this time up for the second one so same thing we're going to hold down our home screen select widgets and scroll all the way down until we see UCCW we're then going to go right into a 4x1 and now that you have it all saved we can actually just select PW clock select that touch here and just like the first home screen we're also going to bring this to the tippy top and make sure that we resize it accordingly right into the middle and there you have it now after this we're going to go right back into our main home screen hold down we're going to select another widget so we go right into widgets scroll all the way down to uccw select another 4x1 uccw widget going to use it and this time we're going to go and select PW shortcuts that use it. Now we select that. I'm going to override it since I already have it. I can simply touch here. And there it is. There should be four little photos. Which we're going to resize so it actually fits the middle screen. Just like that. And next we're going to be setting up our hotspots. So we can actually tap, tap these and make them go into our favorite apps. Alright guys, so really quickly we're going to be going over the hotspots for the UCCW widget right here. The only reason why I zoomed up so close to this is because I want to show you guys uh, how unique uh, that this UCCW widget is. On the top we have my camera over here, like this little photo uh, gallery type stuff, music, and this is like a safari compass type icon. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to select, you know, we'll set these hotspots up accordingly for your home screen. We're going to simply tap the widget itself since we should have uh, our hotspot mode turned off and we're going to select background we're going to go right into hotspots and over here to say hotspot like number one now at first if you don't see it you can simply just drag it and it should appear right on the screen now I'm only going to go over one hotspot for the rest you can actually set accordingly since you know I don't know exactly what would be your paper uh, well like photo type app or your music app or you know even your little safari type app so we're going to go to hotspot number one we're going to select hotspot select app now i'm going to make this uh camera so i'm going to select the app scroll down to camera right there and there you go and if you want to go into the next hotspot you simply select that and go right to number two and you know for gallery or well photo I can just simply go to app scroll all the way down until I see my photo gallery or your photo gallery of choice of choice sorry about that and there you go and now for three and four you can set that uh, auto accordingly to whatever preference that you want it to be now that we have everything all set up with this home screen and our ultimate custom clock widgets we're gonna go right into the next side of the wallpaper well you know the second home screen and we're going to make sure that we fill up our weather and our RSS widget. First we're going to go and set up our RSS widget which will be located right down here in the bottom. We're going to be using simple RSS widget for this. So we're going to hold down our home screen, go right into widgets, and we're going to go scroll almost all the way down until it says simple RSS widget. It should be right there. You guys can manage to whatever RSS feed that you want. It's really not that important. What really is important is the colors since he does have custom hex codes. For the news source, you're going to leave it white. For the news title, we're going to change that to a custom hex code, which is going to be hashtag FF BF 
3030. Zero, zero. Then we're going to hit OK. It should be like this reddish color. Hit OK. And that should be set. And for our news text, we're going to set it to be black. We can actually just decrease the value. Then the hex code is FF and 0 all across the board. Hit OK. And then our background, which should be right under the news text, we're going to make sure that it is actually transparent. So we're going to bring down all the switches, so it's just zero. Hit OK. And we're going to make sure that we do not show our images. And that should be it. We're going to simply hit back. And it should load up the RSS. And there it is. We're going to bring this all the way down into the bottom. And then we're going to resize it so it actually fits just like that and there you go you have your RSS all set up okay now that we have that all done with our RSS we're going to select and make sure that we actually can set up our weather widget and we're going to be using the eye in the sky app so we're going to hold down our screen go right into widgets and we're going to scroll down until we see eye in the sky select that and we're going to select eye in the sky cities and it should be white just like this so our first step is we're going to go and go over to icon overlay color and we're going to make sure that we put the custom hex which we put for our RSS which is going to be hashtag FFBF3030 and when that is done you simply just tap the color and we're going to make sure that we actually check it so that we can actually change the entire icons overall and when that is done you're basically really done but make sure that the text color is black and the background color is transparent hit OK and there it is we're going to resize it so it fits accordingly just like that alright the final step for this home screen is we're going to be using desktop visualizer now if you guys noticed all these icons over here on the top with the bar and over here and even over here you cannot access them but we're going to go over how you can actually just change these so you can actually select them to your own actions we're going to go over to let's say this screen and this over here the little people icon we're going to hold down our home screen go into widgets we're going to scroll down until we see desktop visualizer and we're going to make sure that it is a one by one and it should be just like that now you're going to set all the desktop visualizer icons that you want over the, the select apps and icons over here. So I'm going to make sure that I have a desktop visualizer all one by ones on this row, on the top here, and the same thing with this screen. Alright, so once you guys have all your desktop visualizer icons all set up just like this, I should actually have a row in the social media on the top bar over here, and also with this right on top of here. Once you have that all set, we're going to actually set each and every one of these so it can actually open the according app, which is actually on the wallpaper. I'm only going to go over about one or two of them. I'm not going to go over all of them so you guys can get you know a little general idea of what to do for the rest of them. So, for example, on the social media, there should you see the little Facebook icon. I'm going to select the desktop visualizer icon. You should be presented with a menu just like this. I'm going to go and select icon. Go down to others. And we're going to select none, select action, launch an application, and it's going to open Facebook. So we're going to scroll down to Facebook, clear our label, make sure that touch effect is set to none and our vibration is off. And that is done, we're going to hit OK and it should be just like this. And I can actually tap that and it opens up Facebook. Now we're going to be doing this for the Google Plus which should be right next to it. Tap the desktop visualizer icon, same menu, going to go and select icon, others, none, go go and select our action, launch an application, and we're going to go down to Google Plus, it should be right there, clear the label, now make sure you guys clear the labels for almost all the desktop visualizer icons after this, you know, when you guys set it up for yourself. Make sure the touch effect is numb and our vibration is also off. We're also going to keep these for the rest of the desktop visualizer icons. We do not want any touch effect and we, you know vibration is own personal preference but I just personally leave it off. I'm going to hit OK 
and it should be just like this. I can simply tap that and it opens up Google Plus. Now you guys are going to, you know, accordingly set these accordingly for your own personal needs. Uh, once you guys have all the desktop visualizer icons all set up. And there you have it everybody. Here is Paperweb by JB Themes. It is a very, very, very gorgeous home screen. I'm going to be using this as my daily driver from now on until you know another gorgeous home screen pops up into my color screen. I have all my social media apps right down here. Also, I have these are hotspots. I can actually open that and it goes into my camera. Hello guys. <laughs> Over here I have my apps, you know, I can actually just tap that and many other desktop visualizer icons. Got my people, phone, messaging, uh, music, and my favorite along with voice search. Over here, you know, I got my apps, home, favorites, and my settings. And also right over here, I got my RSS. I actually just scroll and my weather. Everything is accessible and only two screens. I'm actually very impressed that he fit all this information into two screens. But there you go, guys. There it is. Paper web. Make sure that you comment, rate, and subscribe on my color screen. And remember, guys, don't stop customizing. I'm Pedro from MyColorScreen.com, and I'll catch you guys later. Cool little functions that you, you know, you, you know, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Not only does the name really stake out, well, stake out, stake, is it a vampire, stake, especially, you know, for your Android device, um, that's why I'm doing a tutorial on it, right?